It's moving day for 44-year-old Vernon Poland. With just four walls, it's a modest place, but 480 square feet feels palatial to this Iraq War veteran. Poling never had a home of his own until now. To finally have my own place, it feels really good. Um, looking forward to it. Jackson Street. Yeah. After high school, he joined the Army and lived in barracks until he left the military. He lived with family for a time after that, but it didn't work out. He ended up living out of his pickup truck. There's going to be times where you're not awake and conscious and you can't guard your vehicle. Somebody could come up, break the window out. You're going to be, you need to be aware. You can't really relax. You can't honestly relax. Um, so, you know, for a vet who's got PTSD, this doesn't help the situation. But homeless veterans like Poling are getting help through a nonprofit in Orange County, California, known for Disneyland and high housing costs. Potter's Lane is an apartment complex made out of shipping containers. This is a, the first of its kind project with shipping containers for multifamily housing for homeless. Um, our veterans are trained in the military to take care of each other. They're there to watch each other's backs. So we wanted to make sure that we had a design that built on that strength. Homeless advocates say the need is great. While the county has far fewer homeless than neighboring Los Angeles, it has seen a 13% increase since 2013. A little over 350 veterans in this county uh, are experiencing street homelessness. That means they're literally living on the streets uh, at any given point in time. And that is really unacceptable um, in a county like Orange. We, we should be able to house our homeless veterans. Polling is now settled in his new apartment, finally learning what it's like to get a good night's sleep. Being able to actually sleep on a, on a full-size bed is great and being able to use my CPAP because I have sleep apnea um, reliably without being worried about whether or not my pickup truck is going to start in the morning because I spent all that electricity draining the battery. Uh, it's, it's, it's nice. It's a load off. A weight lifted having a place to call home. Amanda Myers, Associated Press, Midway City, California.